looking good. Go right. Exhaust check. Yep, sounds about right. All right. Well, all right, here we are again. We are on the Platinum. Today, we're gonna take a look and we're gonna see if a dual rate coil spring rides better, worse, the same as a standard coil spring. All right, so really fast, what we're working with today, this is a ready lift two and a half inch leveling coil uh, for the 2017 and up Super Duties. I actually think they go way back in years. Um, so what you can see here is this is a standard rate coil, meaning it's just a one spring rate type deal. The easiest way to tell real quick by looking at it is the spacing in between the coils is the same all the way through the whole coil. If you want to measure it, you know, we're looking at, you know, approximately one and a quarter heavy inch spacing across every coil on the whole spring. And if you don't know, the reason why we're taking these off is because they're absolutely hammered with rust. All the coating uh, is, is gone. So there's about three years and about 35,000 miles driven with harsh winters. And these didn't hold up too good visually. Now, if you want to get extremely technical, I didn't really notice a difference in the ride between factory to this. Now moving to the dual rate coil, it's a lot heavier. I mean, not a lot, a couple pounds heavier. Now the quickest way to identify a dual rate coil is so what that means is there is essentially two spring rates built into one spring rate. We're not gonna put on lab coats. We're not gonna get out our freaking science calendar here and try to figure this out scientifically. We're just gonna look at it and we're gonna tell you. So on the bottom, you see the standard spacing. Standard, standard all the way up to about three quarters of the way, you see standard spring spacing in between all the coil spring, all the coils. Now, when you get to the top side is where you'll see a tighter coil spacing. So always you can tell a dual spring rate. Normally most 99% or hundred percent of the time, the coils on the top, if it is a dual spring rate coil, you'll see them tighter at the top. Very simple to identify. You see the standard spacing through here, through here, through here, three quarters of the way up. Oh, they start getting tighter the last quarter of the way. So you can see how tight it is. It's about a finger width on the top four coils, and then boom, it goes into the two finger, which is your about an inch and you know a quarter heavy. So what that means is this is your standard spring right here for normal driving comfortability. So you'll feel normal. And then once the spring gets compressed more, if you're hitting jumps, bumps, holes in the road, whatever, it'll hit, it'll go into the tighter spring rate, the heavier spring rate up top, keeping it from bottoming and keeping your handling, you know, stable rather than just having a soft spring in there where you're just slamming around. So that's a quick two cent story on dual spring rates. Quick explanation. I'm sure I botched that so the proper spring guys get in the comments, give me a nice roast thing, which will be okay. Um, <clears throat> So yes, this here is an Icon dual rate, two and a half inch coil. There you go. Price difference, um, uh, the, the Ready Lift kit, which is a two and a half inch kit. It comes with track bar drop bracket, uh, shock extension, sway bar drop brackets and stuff. So it's a, pretty, it's a pretty complete kit in the terms of what you would want. And that's about 600 bucks of 599. If you take out the, the, so if you try to just figure out the pricing of the coil, you'll probably in the ballpark you'll probably be in the ballpark of somewhere around 400 bucks for the ready lift coils. Now the Icon dual rate coil is about 439. So essentially $39 more for the Icon and on the bench, on the table here, these do seem a lot better. And on paper, you know, a, a dual rate spring in theory on paper would perform better. It would keep your your comfort drivability on the bottom three quarters of the coil, which is your normal average driving. And then if you get a little more aggressive into the driving, you're gonna ride into the, into the upper part, into the stiffer part of the spring, which keeps it from bottoming and keeps that stability. So it seems like these would be better, but we're gonna slap them onto this truck, the 2017, which is right there. And we're gonna drive it and we're gonna see how they feel. So let's go.
All right, so lengthwise, the new dual rate coil, the Icon coils are this, about the same length as the, as the ready lift coils. Um, so what I did here to remove those, it's very self-explanatory. If you don't know, you should probably YouTube it, but I'll give you a quick two cent story. Disconnected the display bar, disconnected the brake line bracket, and disconnected the lower shock mounts and dropped the axle. That should give you enough room to remove and replace the coil. If you don't, Take off some more stuff or get some spring compressors. No, so on a real note, I'm just gonna put those back in and we're gonna raise this up, connect everything, and we're gonna drive. Should be, uh, should be fairly straightforward, but you never know. Now guys, I have seen some botched coil springs installed. I've seen coil springs installed upside down. I've, inst I've seen coil springs installed without them turned properly into the stop on the bottom coil bucket mount. I have seen all kinds of crazy stuff when it comes to coil springs going on a truck. It's not rocket science. Take your time. If it doesn't look right, redo it. Oh, see that? I need, uh, I need about two inches. Now, I didn't really want to get into disconnecting a whole bunch of stuff in here because it's just, oh, you know, I just don't want to do it. But we might have to do it. Or we get the spring compressors in there. Push it down a little bit. Let's try going the top way first. Freaking. So I put the spring compressors on there, just a little bit, just a tiny bit. You don't need to go crazy and get all sketchy. You just gotta get, get it, get it a little bit. And look at this, it's gonna go right in there. <clears throat> I'm glad I found these coils. They were just sitting, they were just sitting in the back. Brand new box, sitting over there. I said, geez, I'll put them on. But all right, I'm gonna get these off. I'm gonna get that other side on. We'll get this buttoned up and we'll go. Well, there's nothing else left here for us to do. We got everything on and torqued. I guess it's tight. Um, I gotta move the blue truck and we gotta take this thing for a drive. Hmm. Why is all the vehicles always out of gas? Everything's out of gas. All righty. Ready? right up. Left the door open. Tight squeeze, tight squeeze. Oh yeah, check this out. Maybe I'll throw it up on the second channel. I looked at another shop today. If you guys know, there's a second, I got a second channel where I'm putting just random stuff on. Uh, I looked at a second shop today. Look at TRX out there. Um, do an update on that. Get out, shut the door. Wow, is this thing, dude? This thing is sick. Coil looking good, dual right, exhaust check. Yep, sounds about right. All right, oh, we gotta drive it. Windshield's a little dusty. Been in the shop for a little while. All right, I mean, it, it feels good. There, There is no denying that it does not feel good. It feels good. Forgot how much power this thing had. 
All right, so, uh, you know, around town driving, feels it feels great. Around town feels really good. I should probably put on my seatbelt. I wouldn't say it necessarily feels stiffer, but it definitely feels sturdy. I mean, they are brand new coils, so uh, there's some good bumps on this road. We'll hit them, see how they feel. All right, highway. Uh, yeah, it definitely is is sturdy. What it almost feels like is it almost feels stiffer. Like it's more stable. Now, is it a huge difference? Absolutely not. It is not a huge difference. I, I can honestly barely tell anything. Um, it's just, it just feels a little stiffer. It feels a little tighter, if that makes any sense. Like moving the steering wheel back and forth, there's not much sway or any body roll or anything. It's it's more planted. Hitting bumps, yeah, definitely feels a little, little stiffer. Uh, but I, I kind of like it, I'm not going to lie. But is it a huge difference? Not a chance. I know mean, we're doing about 80. And it's just really, really sturdy, really firm. I wouldn't say it's a harsh ride. It's just, you know, more, it feels more stable. It's the best way I can describe it. It's not, but it's not a huge difference. But I can tell you, right off the bat, right off the top of my head, for $30 difference, I'm 100% going with these coils over the over the standard coils. So, all right, guys. Uh, highway cruise. Everything's great. Everything feels awesome. I really forgot how much I like this truck. Uh, we're headed back to the shop. We'll wrap this thing up. And uh, good ride. Nice ride, for sure. All right, guys, that's it. That is the test, the first initial test with the dual rate coils. Now, my best way to describe those is that it feels a little more firm, a little more like soft, but firm. Like it still takes the bumps nice, but it feels stable. Okay, so like, is there a huge difference? No. Would I recommend those over the other ones? Yes. But if you already have the other ones, not a huge deal. Now, if you were running like way more aggressive off-road type stuff where you're like really hitting some nasty stuff on a daily basis, yeah, then you can go dual rate. I feel like that would be like a, a must, but it's not a huge deal. It's not like this big elaborate thing where you go, oh my goodness, I got a freaking dual. No, 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 no. They are nicer. It's not a huge difference, but for the same price-ish kind of deal, yeah, you, definitely. If you're going to get those, get the dual rates. I feel like a lot of the guys that I talk to don't even know those dual rate coils even exist. You know, a lot of the coils out there are just standard coil. Um, like if you look at Carly, I think Carly's dual rate, I don't know if Thurin's dual rate, uh, but a lot of the higher end off-road type style suspension kits, companies, deals are dual rate coils. So it definitely would, you know, make a difference for off-road stuff. And obviously it should, it should ride better on the road. If it, it still feels soft, but more stable. It's like, the, it's, I don't know. Don't, don't roast me. Bear with me on this. What I did uh, realize is I realized that that truck is set up so nicely. I absolutely love the thing. It's such a nice truck. I haven't drove it for a long time. It's been in here. It's been around. It's just hasn't, hasn't gotten driven and I love it. Wow. Is that nice? But all right, guys, so there you go. Dual rate coils, definitely recommend them. Um, it rides really good, firm, but still hits the bumps nice, feels stable, they go on good. The coating seems better. They seem higher quality than the ready lift ones. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a no brainer. If you're getting a leveling kit, if you're gonna get a coil leveling kit, not just a spacer, do a dual rate coil 100%. But guys, check out the second channel. It'll be the first link in the description. Uh, it's where we're posting all the random stuff. Like we'll do gas stuff over there. We'll keep this, this channel mainly diesel. Um, like we got the TRX still. We got maybe potentially the C10 behind the camera here. Uh, we're gonna do a lot of cool stuff over there. It's just random vlog stuff. This raw, like, we'll see you on the next one.
Maybe we'll go check out that new building.